Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car, if I can find a way to get up there. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. No power. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. It's locked. No way in. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Needs the for pills. Something you need? Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Did it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Oh, dude, you could have really taken that one. It's off. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Nicely done, Molly. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. She's crazy. On, I actually you like chicken? her. Jump. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it.
Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Can't open it without the combination. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. We've already done our job, eh? It's still not finished to raise. I'm looking for a combination now. I want to see what's in these lockers. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going that way. high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Hey, how'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Awesome. Good job, guys. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine.
So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. But I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry, she'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Hey, Doc, uh... I just wanted to thank you for coming with us, and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Yes, you really hate... Well, all actually hate the Crawford. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram.
Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. The way this camera is set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I wonder if it caught someone punching it in. Empty. Figures. The tape's gotta be around here somewhere. Keep looking. I'll cut it in my hand. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. That you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. So we're going back to our auto shop. Looking for a doctor state body. How the hell do I get to him? Do I get back? Too many walkers in there. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. 
Shit, time to go. locker. Another tape. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Yay, we're gonna watch a movie. Where's the popcorn? Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again, but for now, today, we have to do this. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Really shit. Well, shit. I could say shit happens. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. 
I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. This is not good. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications to see when and what I upload next. And as always, have fun.